Hey, what's up everyone? I just wanted to report on the fact that a magnitude 3.4 earthquake hit Tennessee. They're saying at around 2.56 p.m. that this is one in a series of earthquakes that have been hitting the state of Tennessee since January. This was recorded 20 miles south of the Kentucky border. Also reported on the Strange Sounds Twitter page, this 3.4 magnitude earthquake that hit near Maynardville, Tennessee, loud booms and rumblings were reported, as well as house shakings and damage was also reported all the way up to Knoxville. It happened around 3.56 p.m., according to this image shown here of the map, and in red right there in the middle of the screen is the areas are the areas that were mostly affected that could feel it the most. I've been feeling my emotional ups and downs again. I also felt this uh, felt a rumbling yesterday and a loud sound, so maybe that's what maybe we were maybe we were hearing it. But I've been going through my ups and downs and just deep emotion and, and emotional the darkness and depression and anxiety. Last night I was standing at the fridge and I almost blacked out. I felt like I was leaving my body. I don't know. I don't know how it ever... I don't know. I don't know how it would ever work or what I would ever do, but... I was almost leaving my, my body. And I, I was, like, lifting out, but... And then I was... My eyes started watering, and I almost started losing consciousness. My mama was sitting in the chair right in front of me, and she seen it. And said, well, lean on the fridge. Lean on the fridge. She was telling me to lean on the fridge. Here's another... This is an ad popping up that... Sorry about that. I apologize for that. I'm going to open this on Chrome. But yeah, I started feeling awful. Suddenly I just lost my balance and I was sitting there and almost blacked out. The head, my head was throbbing my, and I just fell backwards. Just almost started leaning backwards and couldn't think or talk. It was really like... And I went backwards, and then I was really hyper, like hyped up, and all of a sudden it just went away, and I fell backwards, and I just kind of, I kind of, I almost blacked out, and I don't know, it just didn't feel well at all. She witnessed it, and she seen me, and told me, just hold on to the fridge, just lean, and I just leaned backwards, fell backwards under the fridge, and then I started feeling okay, it's like, oh, it's past now. I don't know, but back to this, uh... Back to what happened. Hopefully, hopefully, I'll, I'll eventually just I'll be able to do something in life and find my path and get on track and do something. I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the Lord will guide me. I've got other things to uh, share that happened as well. But more than 1,600 people have reported feeling the shallow, the sh excuse me, the shallow earthquake. Sounded like I was drunk there or something. I don't know why, but. Loud booms, noise, house shaking, and small damage was actually reported in Knoxville. See, there's actually been various reports. Um, some said, oh, major damage. Some say minor damage, and I don't know why. it. Uh, they just varied, I guess, to grab attention. But it sounded up to, it has happened up to 4 p.m. As of about 5.30, the United States Geological Survey said that 1,235 people had reported it to them. Online reports were also coming in. Testimony stated the TV shook and the bed shook. A Jefferson County resident, who, a Jefferson County resident, who called the news to state that the report to report the quake. Uh, Tabitha Brooks stated, "Oh my goodness, I'm in Mar uh, Maynardville and my whole house shook, and I heard two very loud booms. Scared the life out of me. So um, why is it going back upward? Now it's going too far down. <laughs> I'm sorry." Okay, Beverly Clark of Union County sent a picture of bro of a broken light fixture damaged in the quake. I've been a f I've been in a few earthquakes, but never heard the boom that this one made. See, that's the thing. A lot of these quakes, a lot of booms happen before them, and many people have never reported hearing booms like that before we, before what we're experiencing, the quakes that we experience now. Anyway, Clark also told that her house shook twice and made this made the, made a ceiling tile in the basement fall. 
Beverly Clark said yes, felt, felt it, off of Highway 370 in Union County. She reported on Twitter and Facebook that it had shook the house twice and made the ceiling. A ceiling tile in the basement fall to the floor. The light fixture is now dangling very low. I don't have Facebook, so I couldn't, I didn't, I don't know if I could pull it up or not, but this woman, Betty Cook Hall, said, we sure felt it. And we are in Stonewood subdivision off of uh, Bud Hawkins. Scared the crap out of me. Never felt an earthquake. Lived through a lot of hurricanes, hang, uh, having just moved from Florida two years ago, but never an earthquake. A resident in Fountain City reported feeling it. They stated that the house literally shook and stated that there was a noise with it. Julie Howard said, felt it in Blaine, awful noise and awful shaking. Heard a loud boom. Melissa Allen Bar Barnes says, yes, I heard the loud boom like thunder and, and our house shook, including the windows and the, the table lamps, windows, table lamps, and table de de decor. Lasted about seven to ten seconds. We live in the Powell slash Carnes community off of Highway Clinton and Oak Ridge Highway. So, what are the booms? That's the question many people have been asking. You may hear sounds with earthquakes. According to the USGS, many people report hearing these loud booms along with the seismic activity. Now, many times in recent years, many booms have been being heard before earthquakes. But no one knows for sure, but scientists speculate that these booms are probably small, shallow earthquakes that are too small to be recorded, but they're enough to be felt by people nearby. Well, if they're too small to be recorded, then... Why did the database show that it was a 3.4, uh, 3.3 to 3.4? That doesn't make sense. It was recorded by the, the seismograph. <laughs> Trying to be a little bit funny there. The seismograph, that was an old SNL skit with uh, during the time that Russell Brand hosted. But anyway, area geology. Knoxville and surrounding areas. I don't feel well. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about I'm, if I sound strange, but... Knoxville and surrounding areas uh, sit along the eastern East Tennessee seismic zone, one of the most active earthquake zones in the eastern United States. Also, don't don't forget that also the uh, New Madrid fault line is also near Tennessee. Most local earthquakes are weaker, but some people will actually still feel the ground shaking if it's magnitude two and a half, two point five or higher. That is, and this is the data from the uh, GIS database in eastern Tennessee where the uh, the fault line is at. You can check this information out on this uh, website. Actually, I'll go ahead and post the link. I'll copy the link to this below. That way you can have the link copied and be able to uh, read it for yourself. I was trying to pull my Gmail and my AOL mail. I don't know why, but a few damaging earthquakes have occurred historically. The magnitude 4.6 in 1973 April 29th, 2003, Fort Payne, Alabama. Earthquakes were felt large enough to approximately be felt once a year, once in the year. I remember years ago we had one, and there was one. There were several in Alabama and Georgia, down to the south of here, and we had a around a 5.4 recently. But they're not reporting that on here. Maybe that's one of those situations of a shift. But the source of the seismic activity in that particular area is not known. It's located far from the edge of North American continent and represents a mid-continent of, inter, of interplate earthquake zone. Interplate, sorry. The, the known faults of the ETs SZ are generally ancient. No known activity faults reach the surface. Yes, yesterday's earthquake was about three, 33 miles northeast of Knoxville. It follows the 2.2 quake near Kingston on February 22nd, and a 2.2 quake near Morristown on February 8th, and a 2.5 or 2.5 magnitude quake near Rutledge, Tennessee on February 4th. So you can check out all that information on here. I was looking to see if there's any comments, but it looks like no one's comments are rolling in. But if you look at all the earthquakes happening, there's a lot. There are a lot being reported. Check out the earthquakes being reported worldwide right now. You can see on this revolving map of the earth it shows you know various uh, various quakes that have been reported over the I can't get this to work but it's freezing on me oh well I will put the link out so this earthquake in Tennessee definitely felt by many people 
Much love. Give your thoughts. My PayPal's below. Feel free to help us out and support me and my channel. And I love you all. Peace. Much love. I hope to speak with all of you again very soon. I've got a strange video coming up next. Bye.